Hi and welcome. So in this video, I want to share with you just one amazing thing that happened to me for the following six months after I went on an ayahuasca retreat. And the reason I want to share this, because I think it is really important for just anybody that's having any consistent niggly things that are going on with their life. And so unfortunately, it only happened for six months. But then following that, it, it's just been a little bit more sporadic and changeable. So first, I'm going to share about what happened in the ayahuasca experience um, while I was journeying that actually triggered then this happening for me. So I think it was my second night. So what happened was at one point during my journeying, I was in this void. It, it's very hard to explain, but it, I literally was like me, but I wasn't really in my body. I was just kind of like this voice and all the energy that was around. And it was just like dark and black. And I th what happened was, the other people that were around me, I could hear them being sick. Well, it's not being sick, really. It's purging because they're just getting rid of like any toxins or energy that doesn't need to be in a body. So around me, I could hear the other people purging. And hearing them purging was actually making me feel sick. And I just remember in this void, I was like shouting. There was kind of like an echo. I was like, if it's not mine, I'm not going to take it. And shouting again, if it's not mine, I'm not going to take it. And what I meant by that was, if this sickness that I'm feeling is not mine, and it's to do with the other people and their energy and their sickness, and, you know, my ears and this hearing sense picking up on that, but it's not actually mine, then I'm not going to take it. I want nothing to do with it. And I actually stopped feeling sick at that time. And so after that, so then what happened was, also just to give a little bit of a backstory, um, for years I've suffered with migraines, but when I was drinking, I didn't actually know that they were migraines. I think they were because every now and then I would have them and like the paracetamol and ibuprofen didn't get rid of the headache and I felt quite sick with it, but I thought it was a hangover, but it wasn't very frequent. But then I don't know what age, maybe 38 or something. And after stopping drinking, I was having migraines every month. And I think that was because I was coming up to perimenopause and, you know, maybe to do with my magnesium. It was only coming when I was on my period, like after the first day or two. So I was having that consistently. And um, to the point that I actually had to go to the doctors and get some tablets prescribed because when I had them, I mean, I was just feeling so sick and I just couldn't function at all for a day or two. And it's the only time that I've ever taken anything since giving up alcohol and stuff like that. So why this is important is because then after my ayahuasca experience, I'm sure you can guess what happened. My migraines went. Now, it wasn't like that they completely went and disappeared. What actually happened was when I first started to feel the migraine coming and feeling pain and feeling sickness, I'd take a moment and just really go inwards and just really saying and repeating what happened in that void. If this is not mine, I'm not taking it. I'm not having it. If this is mine because I'm not looking after myself, because I don't know, I haven't had enough sleep or, or whatever, I will take it. But if this isn't mine, if this is because of beliefs about perimenopause and migraines or beliefs about, I don't know, where the moon is in its cycle, beliefs about, oh, it's my hormones because of my period. If it's because of that, I'm not taking it. I don't want it. And as I said, I didn't have a migraine for six solid months. 
and it felt amazing. Unfortunately, after that, I had a little bit of stuff going on in my personal life and, and then the migraines were mine. I took them and since then, I haven't quite managed to get back to what it was and also sometimes I'm actually feeling a little bit lazy and it kind of feels like the, the path of least resistance in that moment is just to take a tablet and get rid of the migraine, which is funny because, you know, I definitely believe in placebo and the only reason they're working is because I believe in it. So I might as well just put the energy into getting back to that space. Anyway, another story. Blah, blah, blah. However, when I do take that time, so either if I listen to a meditation, there's a really great meditation, actually. It's only like 10 minutes long. I think it's by a lady called Cecilia Phillips, and that is on Insight Timer, and that's free. That is a great meditation, and that always, I say always, not always, but more often than not can help to get rid of it. And again, just sitting back in that place, of, if this is not mine, if this is because of my beliefs, not just saying the words, but just feeling in my body. If I've not looked after myself, scan of the body. What I actually have found is if I don't have enough sleep, that does seem to trigger a bit of a migraine. And I don't think that's from belief. My body then communicating to me, communicating to me, I want more sleep. That's one thing that I've noticed and interesting. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. I, I'm not sure if I've been waffling or not. I'm still trying to like... <laughs> work on not being so waffly and maybe if, if it takes I don't know 50 videos and I'm still very waffly I'll consider like maybe writing myself out a script but at the moment I really like to just see what comes up and I kind of feel like I really enjoy just connecting to consciousness and just whatever it wants to birth and whatever the message wants to come out and just having faith that it's going to reach whoever it needs to reach and even if that's one person or 10 people or more then it, it's okay. Whoever it needs to reach, it will reach. If you have suffered from migraines or lower back or anything else, and actually I've almost forgot, that was one thing, was that, uh, I don't know if it's, that's how I knew specifically about the migraines and beliefs. And if you have a migraine, then it's because of like my hormones or stuff like that. The times when I actually, when a migraine was triggered, I asked myself, who is the I experiencing this migraine? And the message was so clear. It's the I that believes in an applause. It's the I that believes when it's this time around the moon. It's the I that believes whatever. An applause. It was just a very clear message of that is why I had the migraine. So yeah, maybe if you've got pain in your lower back or I don't know, your leg, your knee, headache, whatever it is ask yourself who is the I experiencing this and just believing that actually you don't have to accept that pain listen to your body listen to what it's trying to communicate to you and if you think that it's come from your beliefs and pre-programming then you know do some meditation on releasing and letting that go like our bodies are amazing and they can heal themselves so just believe it achieve it know it do it <laughs> i would genuinely hope that you have got something from this video and that's been of use and that it will help you all right much love and blessings bye